And if you don't have downtime, the reality is you're probably going to end up across your day be running at about 70% capacity. Welcome back. I've got with me again, Susan Donovan, the Lady of Paradox. Welcome, Susan. <laughs> Thanks, John. Susan, paradoxes. The next one I want to talk about is one you wrote that I, I sort of sympathise with, but I struggle with, and that is mm. uh, we, we all need downtime to be more productive. Yes. Tell me more about that. I really struggle with this one <laughs> too, oh. John. When I'm busy, the, the most intuitive thing is just to go harder and faster and to not take a break. Or I keep telling myself Plan I'll take a break. Plan my time properly, yes. Yeah, and, after yeah, the next so four I can, hours. <laughs> yeah, I get more productivity out of the time I've got available and all that sort of yeah, stuff. Absolutely. And yet you're saying, stop. Yes, that you need to uh, have different sort of certain times in the day where you plan to do nothing. You plan to really have a mental break and put your brain in kind of an idling position. You're which saying means, every day? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about holidays. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like every, every day. day. It's part of your kind of like daily ritual. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very important that, you know, you're going to have times in your day where you need to be at your 100% capacity. And if you don't have downtime, the reality is you're probably going to end up across your day be running at about 70% capacity because the brain just isn't kind of designed to go at that 100% hour in, hour out and kind of run the ultra marathon. It's designed, like in the gym where you do interval training, to be full on and then full off. So the old full siesta, midday yes. siesta, is something for it, right? Wouldn't that be great to bring <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> yeah. But you're saying we really yeah. should do something like that. Um, and how? Absolutely. Well, I think it's great to plan it in and to be really disciplined about it because if you're not going to plan it, it's very likely not going to happen because it's one of those very important but non-urgent activities. So right into your diary every right day. Right into your diary. And then when it happens, yes. turn everything off, phone, yes. everything. Yes, yes. Go you know, Whatever interests you, you know, listen to music, Yes. that sort of thing. Absolutely, do a crossword, yeah, definitely something that very much recharges your battery. So everyone will have something that's kind of different for them. And the outcome is a much higher level of productivity. That's right. I guess it's something akin to when we have a good night's sleep and we're dreaming, suddenly creative ideas come yes, out of our sleep. very Same much Same sort so. of impact. Yes, yeah, it's exactly that. I don't know how I'd be able to do it, but I'm really tempted to have a go at it. Yes. And, and, and you know, based on your guarantee, if I can get more producti productivity out of my day and have time off at the same time, sounds yes. like a great solution. Yes, it's a really good idea to give it a go, John. Thanks, Susan. <laughs> Thank you.